Ooh, welcome back to beginning beekeeping in Texas. So this is the swarm that I picked up, uh, what, two weeks ago? Have not fed them. Uh, they are still here. So what I like to do is keep well, I'm still making sure the queen's gonna stay. I put in one of these, the propolis trap. You just cut it to fit. That way, nobody gets in or out or goes up here and builds comb. They love to do that, especially in swarm mode. They'll all be in here. There'll just be a ton of bees just in there and no one's in there. So. But now that they've gotten established, uh, we should be good. We might not need that anymore, and they can uh, come and go as they please. We'll pop the screen out and uh, see what they're doing. So you can... This is a blank. Just started building in here. This is also to kind of test their temperament. I haven't smoked them. Um, I want to make sure there's going to be a calm hive or else we're going to have to requeen pretty quick to get them <clears throat> to stay calm. I don't smell the alarm pheromone, which is a good thing. You can see how calm they are on the comb very calm so we do have larvae in all stages brood in all stages um we got eggs we got larvae that just hatched we got eggs laying down which means they're about to hatch so those are about three days old very calm on the frames we're gonna be collecting honey today, but not from these ladies. I'm going to assume it's pretty much all ladies because when they swarm, they don't really take drones. These drones don't really have a purpose in the swarm. Some might tag along or find them or who knows, but Generally, you're going to get all workers in a swarm. Oh, there she is. As soon as I picked up the frame, I saw her. She likes to... There you go, right there. These just emerged. Uh, I did put one frame of... Uh, this is a frame from the hive. These are emerging workers just to get them a good boost. So that's why this looks way different. Established stores. Workers emerging right now. That's what you want. Um, when you donate a hot, uh, uh, frame, you want workers emerging basically as you pull the frame so that they have a workforce almost immediately. Starting to get a little more restless. Trying to make sure no one gets crushed. Because if the bees get crushed, they release their warning pheromone, their alarm pheromone, and that incites the whole hive to get defensive. So there's a bee just kind of hanging out in between frames. It just kind of closes slowly and they will move. this back where it was there's a bee underneath the frame 
Okay. Move this back. And this frame they're already building on the outside. And they're building um, basically just resource comb. Um, but yeah. So this is also what I like about these lice and nukes. You can have this uh, basically just a vent. But we're going to open this. And we're going to carefully slide this on so we don't crush anybody. Should be ample clearance between the when you get to the edge here, you might accidentally pinch one or two, but it's just mostly about sliding it on, clamping it down, and now they have a. I'll show you over here. Now they have a very nice upper entrance they can use. This is the entrance here. Um, that is the queen excluder entrance, but I don't think we need it anymore. So we can take this off. I really like these nukes because they're very adaptable. You can just take things off, put things on, very piecemeal to what you need. Um, very thick, very thick polypropylene. And, uh, yeah, our ultra high density foam, I believe. HDF? I don't know. So there you go. Uh, check up on the swarm. Looks like they're doing real good. Um, like I said, I have not fed them. I just put that frame uh, that had a little bit of a halo of honey and some brood. So hopefully they'll be out here uh, getting it done. So we're going to light the smoker. We're going to go start doing some honey since we have a bunch of frames now that are a bunch of boxes this one this one that need uh removed probably want to do two or three uh, all right thanks for watching like and subscribe